Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Official Z, and today in this video, I want to show you a cool video on how to add audio or commentary and uh, music in your YouTube video or family purpose um, video. So first off, I just want you guys to know this works better if you have Audacity, which is a free download, and I'll have that link in the description. You can also use Voice Recorder, which is built into Windows 10. Now go ahead and download Audacity, or that's what I recommend, or open up Voice Recorder, and you're just going to want to record your little bit of audio, or whatever you want to call it, and then open up Windows Movie Maker. You are then going to open up the video that you want to edit, or have music and audio at the same time. For this video, I'm just going to use a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 clip that I used in one of my most recent videos. I will have a link in the description below for that too. So once you're here, you can do whatever you want with the video. So as you can see here, I just lower the volume just a bit um, because it may be too loud and you can't hear the commentary or the music. So once you do that, you can pretty much mess around with the speed or fading in audio or whatever you want to do, visual effects, fading in uh, your video. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and add your music. For this video, I'm using Jazz in Paradise. It's one of my favorite videos, or sorry, music videos, or music um, that you are allowed to use in YouTube videos. So I just went ahead and added that, and I usually cut out the beginning because it's kind of like a build up and I don't really like it. Now, you will notice you can't add two music video or music audios and that's actually how you're supposed to add your audio or commentary. Now this was really annoying me because I just wanted to have music behind or in the background of my commentaries but it just didn't seem to work. I looked, I looked all over YouTube and everything but I couldn't find any videos. They all say open up a new project um, with the same video or whatever. I don't even know. So what you're going to want to do is record the commentary for that video. I used Audacity for this just because it's so much easier to edit. So once you're done that, you're going to want to edit it or do whatever you want and hit file and go down to export. This usually only takes about two minutes to export. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this um, test, I guess. And just want to hit OK. That's just for if you're using it for music or anything. And then you're going to want to go to record narration and add sound. Then you're going to go to wherever you save the file and click on it. It's going to allow you to open up that audio file and have music. So now this thinks it's a sound effect. Um, so it allows you to have music and sound effect, which is actually your audio or your commentary. So I went ahead and lowered the volume of the music and the video and upped or raised the volume for my commentary. So as you can see here, if I did have a like a professional commentary, I could have it um, as a professional video. But as you can see, you can't have two sounds or commentaries overlapping each other. It just doesn't work. Um, I'm sorry about that guys, so if you have a commentary, you can't use a sound effect. Um, but if you guys are using sound effects, it's most likely you're using Sony Vegas Pro or, or one of the high uh, editing softwares. So once you're done, you just want to go to Save Movie and hit 1080p Project Save or whatever. Save it to wherever you want and it should start to save. Um, I'm just going to cancel it though because I don't really want to use uh, or save a video. Sometimes they take up lots of space, sometimes they don't. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share to let your friends know about this. Um, if you know somebody who's struggling, uh, please let them know about this. And thanks for watching, guys. See ya.